got a new mic. I got the Elgato Wave 3. Nice, the one we were talking about. <coughs> yep, How yep. Condenser mic. I mean, people are telling me it sounds better. You do sound good. I thought you sounded fine before, but granted, I didn't really listen to you much. I mean, I was using the... What do you call it? Um, the HyperX Quadcast before. Mm, mm. It's not a bad mic, but it's also not a condenser mic. I want a condenser mic really bad just for like recording, but it's so dude. For now, I'm fine with what I got because I spent a lot of money on this fucking. That's mic. fair. That's fair. <laughs> well, this mic is only 150 bucks. I know. I just my job doesn't start up again until the 18th. You need Sugar Daddy to buy so you a condenser gross. mic. I don't need Sugar Daddy to do shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait. Speaking of being a Sugar Daddy, I have uh, an idea. <laughs> <laughs> I have an idea of what I want to do if this podcast ever earns money. <laughs> what, what, okay, what's your idea? Dude, it's we're going to spend we're going to spend all the money that we make from this podcast, like all of it, right? On just okay. sex toys for you. To the point <laughs> to the point where it's like aggressive. Aggressive. So, in the event that any woman actually walks into your room, it is going to be so aggressive. There's going to be too much to hide. Like, you're not going to have dude, enough hiding spots. Dude, episode, like, episode 122, the, the, it's going to start and it's just going to be Rex. It needs to stop. <laughs> dude, he it's sent another much, one. Man. He's my like, clock. my neighbors are freaking out. I keep throwing away life-size sex dolls. Getting packages daily and they're not inconspicuous okay? they're my not. neighbors know what's going on at this it's point just... my closet is full of the amazon driver under... knows you by name he keeps looking at me with the rambunctious <coughs> side eye i don't know what else to do i can't look him in the face anymore oh my fuck that's... what do you think that's a pretty good idea huh? yeah yeah what do you mean that's a good that sounds like a horrible idea for no, me. no no no, no. <laughs> i'm gonna spend all the money that we make from the podcast on sex toys and just make you completely unfuckable. This is so fucked up, dude. I'm already down. You can't push me, you can't push me further. <laughs> you, know, what the fuck fuck is this? you can always beat a man down. You can always punch down. <laughs> you're the one talking about the male loneliness epidemic, and now you're out here fucking doing Bro, this. Bro, look, I can't, I can't be here alone. We gotta suffer together. What the fuck? <laughs> suffer by yourself. Go draw more porn of you. <laughs> Piece of shit. Don't bring me down with you. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. It's so good. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Uh. Can you delete that shit out of the DMs, please? <laughs> oh, God, the DMs. I'm gonna get out of there. All right, fine. Oh, you staring at it? You looking at it too much, bud? I, I ju it's in the corner of my eye. Oh, you just, you just can't DMs, stop looking bro. at it, dude. It's, it's the forbidden fruit. This bro, this is back to my it. original argument of men. We love the forbidden fruit, bro. What forbidden fruit? Bro, anything anything that you are not thing. allowed to do is what we like to do. We like... To do the shit that we are not allowed to do. Think about the thing that you're not allowed to do. Think about something you're not allowed to do right now. I'm not really not allowed. Name to something do. you're not allowed to do. Uh, uh, buy firearms that I want. <laughs> see, see, buy firearms that I want because if you had them, it would be sick. <laughs> You want to do the thing. You just proved my point. <laughs> I can't, I know I only can't. Okay, well I can't buy some of them because I'm not old enough to buy handguns. Uh huh. But the other ones are just expensive. Okay. Mm hmm. You know how much of a fucking a 1911 costs nowadays? Dude, all I'm saying is the thing that you're not allowed to do <clears throat> feels good to do it. <sighs> This doesn't give you an excuse to send me porn. <laughs> Dude, okay, so like I've been doing art for a while, uh, like off and on, and I've never ever drawn NSFW. And then like I fall hardcore for this girl, and then she has NSFW of her, and she tells me that like like she doesn't care, like I can draw like whatever I want. And I was like, okay, sick, like I'll draw some shit of our characters. And then she's like, yeah, like getting drawings of my vtuber makes me so happy and then like she gets sick and then i start drawing to like make her happy and then she's like 
Oh yeah. After she gets better, she's like, "Oh, like I thought, you know, I don't want to like lead you on. Like, we, like I we I thought we were just like having fun, bitch." That's crazy. Dude. <laughs> I can't believe you were the the e fuck boy. <laughs> like, I'm always the e fuck boy. What you mean? No, 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 And then even better, even better, even better. From sickness, hello, bitch. <laughs> Not even from like a real dude. Anyway, <sighs> so this, so that happens, and but that happens legit. Like that whole conversation happens probably like three hours before my therapy on Friday. <laughs> Look, you, look, bro just gave you some tea to spill no dude therapy. i don't think you understand i don't think you understand so i went to therapy right obviously because you know three hours i got i'm going to therapy you know i'm not gonna not obviously like you know we gotta get on that self-work you know we gotta get on that shit you know we gotta we gotta become a better person so i started talking about that because obviously that's heavily weighing on my mind mm -hmm. at that very moment I started talking about that to my therapist who I've now gone to about probably like seven sessions with. So, okay. so this, we're still getting to know each other, but like they know me pretty well at this point. <clears throat> and, <laughs> and she just like, I just like do all this. She's like, well, why do you think you act that way? And I just started sobbing, bro. I just started, started <laughs> crying. I just started crying. And I probably had oh, no. the best therapy session I've ever had. Dude, like probably the best therapy session I've ever had. Honestly, it sounds like it. I mean, that cry had to do something. Bro. Dude. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God, dude. Just sobbing. Like, like, you know, those, you know, those cries where like you try to hold them back because obviously you're a man <laughs> and you're not allowed to cry. And then, yeah. and then you finally <laughs> hit the point and you're like, I physically cannot stop it anymore. <laughs> that's a rough one. <laughs> that's, that's what happened to me fucking two days ago. Oh man. Just literally could not physically stop myself from crying anymore. Sheesh, you gotta delete that SFW. No, redraw it with a different character. <laughs> Honestly, I just was like, I posted it in one of uh, in one of this like this artist VTuber that I know, uh, Starry underscore Veil, and she she has like an NSFW area, <clears throat> and her community is sick. I love her community. I hang out on her Twitch all the time, and and I was like, yeah, but I'm not gonna continue drawing these. I'm not gonna shade them or anything. <clears throat> and they were like, yeah, but like you can just be proud of. You know what you drew and i was like shit you're right hell yeah you're right i drew this it's it's i don't have to do anything else with this this is just i drew this that's it true now you you move on you draw more stuff yeah different stuff i fuck other vtubers <laughs> <laughs> no 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 <clears throat> and there we go folks this afternoon rex is tweeting a post and if you want him no to i don't tweet YouTuber, you no wait. no no bro you if we ever went like, viral no no no, no stop. stop 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 <laughs> stop no in the future if we ever went viral and there's a twitter it's like somebody's gonna see this and then like fucking timestamp that shit it's no <laughs> no just, just just like a year from now, just where's the tweet, Rex? Where, 10 where's, years where's from now? Tyler? 20 years <laughs> from now? Where's the tweet? We're still waiting. <laughs> oh, my God. So, yeah. That's, uh... What happened to you in the last two weeks? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing nearly as traumatic, I think. Holy fuck. I had a... Fuck. <laughs> Dude, but then I was just like... Okay, I'll just tell you. And then I was just like... Nothing in my life changed. Right? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I'm just cripplingly lonely again. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, I mean, we're just back to square one. Am I right? <laughs> Bro, I don't know why women are so obsessed with being dudes nowadays, though. Like, fuck, dude. Being a dude sucks. You do not want to be this. I saw one of the tw uh, uh, tweet that said, um, I just want to be friends with guys the way guys are friends with guys. And I said, no, you don't. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> no, no, you, do you don't. <laughs> so we were talking not wanting God to be talking. friends with men the way that men's are friends with men. Men's, fans, fuck. Yeah, yeah, that. Because, <clears throat> because I saw in the comments of that, 
just a whole bunch of shit of how you know women wouldn't want, want that to happen. Like this one dude on his birthday had his mini fridge welded shut. <laughs> and, and one other dude got his head shaved, thrown in the trunk of a car, and driven to his local school. That's pretty excessive. That's time. pretty. I, I don't think that's. It's ex it's excessive, right? I don't think that's but the general like, experience. But yes, I totally see where you're coming from. Yes, things not quite along that line, but honestly, kind of parallel to that. I, I would it's, agree. Yes, it's not up there, but it's there. <clears throat> and like, I will regularly call my like my male friends like like whores and shit like that. <laughs> Or just really mean names. I think I think bitch is just the regular one. Just be like, just what a bitch. Call, <laughs> even, even with you, I call you motherfucker. Yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, and I've never fucking never yeah. once have you called me motherfucker, and I was offended. Never yeah. once. <laughs> I called a female friend that wanted to be one of the guys bitch one time, and she gasped, and I was like, bro. <laughs> oh my fuck. Like, huh? My, my bad, bro. I didn't mean. <laughs> my bad bitch why don't you shut up and quit acting like a bitch <laughs> <laughs> not even a double down you triple down on <laughs> oh i'm sorry your feelings hurt <laughs> oh, my bad go cry about it god why don't you go cry about it like a bitch <laughs> Now see, now see, that's crazy, but that's peak. That, <laughs> that is the male experience. That's the definition of the male experience. No reason Dude, we no gotta change the name no of this reason. podcast to just the male experience. I was gonna say that earlier, because we just talk about male experience. <laughs> yeah, dude, that's because we're just two dudes living in the male experience. <laughs> yeah, being mean to each other, crying. Yeah! <laughs> We can be supportive. Nice. We can be supportive. Like, I cried during therapy. You were like, hell yeah, bro. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, true. But it was also... You gotta support the homies. Bullshit. You gotta support the homies. If you can't support the homies, you're not a real homie. Exactly. But you, if you know... <clears throat> you know, if I'm not mean to you, you're not my homie. Exactly. <laughs> bro. Oh my god. It's like when you have a friend that starts dating another one of your friends and you're just like, well, this is gonna fuck everything up, but sure, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead. No, it's fine. Okay. I want you to be happy, okay, obviously, so because we're friends, but obviously, you know, we were best friends and now we're just sometimes friends because you're fucking <laughs> doing other shit. I'm happy for you. I'm glad you I'm I'm glad you found a loving relationship since you wanted to fuck everything up, I guess. But yeah. you, you know what whatever. I guess I'll just stand over there and, and go fuck myself. Exactly. Have a good life. <laughs> God. And I mean that. <laughs> so fucking annoying when somebody else you like not like that, but like as a friend fucking yeah. finds another person that they like more. It's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Is what we had nothing to you anymore? I'm just not What's enough. What's going on, man? No, it's literally what it is. Oh, it's like if we're be if we're BFFs, and then like like they start dating someone, it doesn't matter. Boy, girl, opposite person, boy, girl, doesn't matter. They start dating someone. You, if you were previously a number one priority, automatically get put number two, and you can feel that. It's true. And it sucks. Again, it's only fair. That makes sense. That right. And like, you can't even bitch. You don't even have a leg to stand on. Because yeah. you're not sucking that dick or pussy. <laughs> yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh. <laughs> well Wait a we'll second. Leave that for the, we'll leave that for the best man speech. Eh? <laughs> God fucking damn. Oh my god. Bro, you ever take a dick pic? Do I- have I ever taken a that's dick a, I feel like that's a part of the male experience. You have measured your own dick. Every single dude oh, has I, measured their dick. I feel every like- Every person has found out the size of their dick. I've just never taken a picture of one. You've never taken a picture of your dick? No. Never once. Didn't want to. Didn't need to. I didn't have anyone to send it. You've to. never taken a picture of your cock? No. Hmm. What, what's the judgment here, man? 
Well, my next question was going to be, have you ever have been asked for one? Yes. You have? Yes. And you, and you didn't hear me out. You didn't, you didn't hear, oh my God, like, let me see your dick. And then, <laughs> no, and the way we shut up, shut up, shut up. Oh my God, let me see your dick. And then you were like taking pictures and you're like, wait a second. Nah, I'm not sending this. <laughs> how did that go down? You gotta tell me how that went down. <laughs> Please show me a cock. I know no wanna. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Well, let's just say I had my own reasons. That story being a bit harsh for the podcast, I think. Oh? But I was uncomfortable. Oh. And so I didn't want to. Oh, so you a bitch. Oh, okay, bitch. <laughs> Dude, okay, so I've been asked for dick pics, and I feel like it's the weirdest fucking thing. I feel like it is the weirdest thing. Taking, <laughs> taking a picture of your, like, first of all, as a, as a woman, your body is sexy, right? As a man, uh -huh. if you have to take a dick pic, you have to get hard. <laughs> you have to get yeah, yeah. hard. You can't. You can't. You can't take, take flaccid <laughs> dick pics unless you have a hog, bro, an absolute <laughs> bird. Like, <laughs> if your bitch is standing at attention twenty four seven, which if it is, you have a problem. <laughs> Go to your doctor. You didn't. You didn't listen to the ad, bro. It's been more oh, than eight God. hours. Go to the doctor. <laughs> Oh god, dude. So that's what I'm saying is like it's 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 weird for dudes to take dick pics because they have to fucking get you have to jerk off to then stop jerking off to snap a pic. <laughs> and then what? Now you just have a hard dick? Are you gonna jerk off to completion or are you just gonna let that shit go down? Like what like do you have a plan here? What do I do now? <laughs> now I'm just hard. <laughs> for for no reason as well. <laughs> and then you just send it off and you're like, well, there it is. Does this do it for you? Like, what? <laughs> I mean, yeah, I don't know. I don't I don't get the attraction. They're like, here's oh, my hard dick. My penis now, what are you going to do with? It? Yeah, what like, are you gonna what are you going to do? You're going to fucking diddle yourself thinking about my fucking dick? Like, right. <laughs> but then you got to think about it. That's what dudes do. I mean, we just see hot chicks like on our phones. We, we just look up fucking hot chicks on our phones and porn, and we're just like, "Fuck yeah, dude!" Shit. I mean, I guess so. Maybe it's just the same way, and we just can't really fathom it because we're not them. You know? God, dude. Maybe we have more in common than we think. Hmm. Take that, liberal. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> <laughs> I even did like the the judgmental point thing at my monitor. <laughs> like, who am I pointing at, bro? <laughs> oh my god. Oh my gosh. Dude. Uh, dude, girls don't make sense to me, bro. Women scare me. Bro, here's oh, another yeah, bro. example of women don't make any sense. Okay. There's this dichotomy of them not ever wanting to be spoken to in public, but then also being mad as fuck that they're not getting flirted with. I have seen that. Like, they never online. know what they want in any situation. <laughs> <laughs> My ex-girlfriend would make shit up to get mad at me so that she could tell me so that I would get mad because she liked it when I was mad. <laughs> Granted, no, never mind. You said you did like them broken girls. <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, so that's one of the things that I legit cried about in therapy. No joke. No joke. That's one of the shit I cried. That is the that is the perfect place to bring that up. Is there, dude? Dude. So she asked me, and she was like, she was like, okay, so like when you like my therapist is a female. That's why I say she. When I <laughs> right, of course. Yeah, hold on. I gotta cover my bases. The libs will attack me. Hold on. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, no. So she asked me, and she was like, "So, like, what do you like about a person? Like, what like stands out? What do you really like? Like, go for it, you know?" And I was like, mm -hmm. "I was like uh, shorter than five foot, Asian class." <laughs> I was like, no, 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 no. Hell no. <laughs> I was like, I don't know. I guess I just like, like, really, like, outgoing personality. Somebody that can have fun. Somebody that can joke around, like, 
I don't like people that take themselves too fucking seriously because I don't take myself seriously. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And she's like, okay, okay. And then like we started to get to, like to get into it, get into it. And I was just like, every relationship that I've ever known is broken. All of my family values are broken. The only <laughs> thing I started spiraling, dude. I was like, I was like, the only thing that I recognize as love is if my love is extremely broken or if I'm if one of us is being fucked up. <laughs> Man, I was like, dude, <laughs> all examples that I've had of love are of toxic relationships and I don't know how to function in a normal relationship. Man, that was that you're right. That was the therapy session. Oh, <laughs> oh man. But hey, <laughs> better to get it out now, right? <laughs> I was like, dude, oh my God. And then I was like, dude, and then my therapist is like, obviously just sitting there like kind of wide eyed, like, oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> what, just, what can of beans have I just spilled? Oh fuck it, dude! I was in a very emotional state. Oh my god! Like I can laugh about it now, but holy fuck! I mean, these things are true. Yeah, I mean, well, at least you can look back and laugh at it, right? I mean, I'm a funny. I'm just a silly fucking dude. You know what I mean? Like yeah, I'm a silly maxer, dude. What can I say, dude? Like if I can make a joke out of it, I'm gonna make a joke out of it. You know? The most traumatic thing ever just happened to me. Shit, bro. Literally. Yo, how can I make it funny? <laughs> Dude, comedy brain's kind of a problem, though. <laughs> it's a bit of, I'm not going to lie to you, it's a bit of an issue and I don't know how to fix it. No, it's I, a problem I'll because comedy, a comedy is our coping mechanism. This is how we cope. Oh, well, at least it's funny. <laughs> at, le- at least it is funny, but it also makes you just not deal with your problems. <laughs> <laughs> Which is a problem. <laughs> what are you, my therapist? <coughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. Oh, my God. <clears throat> one of these days, I'm going to do the, the, the comedy to cope with a problem thing, and no one's going to laugh at the joke, and then I'll look inside of myself and realize, oh, shit, something's wrong. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It'll happen one day, but it hasn't happened yet, so that means I'm perfectly mentally fine and do not need the assistance of a medical professional. Dude, it's like when you're hanging out and you make like a dark joke and like nobody laughs and you're just like, oh, fuck. Then <laughs> no, then I know I fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. I either read the room wrong or I'm down a path I can't come down, back from. <laughs> you say some like really dark shit and you're like, ha suicide. And then they're like, um, are you okay, bud? And you're just like, oh my god, guys, stop psychoanalyzing me. This isn't therapy. Oh, <laughs> Let's rewind the clock a little. Oh god. I cried about this on Friday with my therapist. Okay, leave me alone. <laughs> oh, god. oh my gosh. Fuck you, Nate, um, dude. One of these days. I don't. I think I'm just gonna end up killing myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Hey, 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 hey! I'll never kill myself. Never. That's just the thought. Process, okay. Right? All right. I'm listening. That's just the thought process, because I'm, I, I don't want to get diagnosed for things. Mm-hmm. Then that means it's a problem, right? Okay. <laughs> I still refuse to go. You know. You have a pro. You are. I'm with confidence. All right, with, with confidence okay, right now. With confidence, you could say I have a problem. Whatever. I you should go to therapy. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm still alive, and I will never kill myself. That's a promise to myself. Okay. Yeah. Made. So is there I could agree to that. Problem here. <laughs> yes. No. <Nuh-uh. laughs> yeah. No. Dude, okay, so the whole reason I even started going to therapy in the first place was because I was like, I think that I have some patterns and trauma that I have not dealt with that I feel like are holding me back in life. Right? Not even not even like extreme things, but just like I need help. What I, this is what I was saying at the beginning of therapy, which I could still say is true, is I need help identifying things mm-hmm. to self-improve. Mm-hmm. Which a therapist is very good for that. True, true. Now, if you don't want to self-improve, which is what it sounds like, you don't have to. This is a choice that I made where I was like, okay, 
I want to self-improve. Therefore, I will go to therapy to get that outer like look, that outer opinion from a professional. Mm. <clears throat> the thing with me is I actually enjoy self-improvement, but I myself have identified issues not with my mental, if that makes sense. All of my things are things I'm already working on uh -huh. myself. Right. So my weight, that's something I've identified as problem. Health problems in general. <clears throat> okay. I think Well, you could just lose weight. You could just go to the gym. Oh yeah. Well that that, that that's it, right? That's what I've identified as Okay, so why aren't you doing life that? Life issues. I am. Why aren't you doing that more? Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> How often are you doing that? What's your what's your regimen? I do it like uh, three times a week. This is okay. Yeah, I have a I don't like going to the gym anymore just because there's so many fucking people there. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Oh my okay. god. Okay. Now watch, we're going to do a little mini therapy session. Now, why does the fact that there's a lot of people there bother you? I'm antisocial. Why are you antisocial? I don't like talking to people. But why don't you is did something happen where you no longer like talking to people? No, I'm just scared always. <laughs> Is there a reason that no, you are I scared? I don't like fucking talking to people, dude. Is there a reason I'm scared? Why are you scared? They're just people like you. Yeah. That means they're... That means they're... Uh, shit, I'm trying to... Uh, what was I going to say? That means they're assholes like me, too. No, they're actually... Yeah. Not all of them are. Nuh-uh. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No. That is my favorite fucking thing, dude. No. <laughs> No, I do like the gym. It's just um, until I get to a point where I need gym equipment, I don't want to pay for it. Mm, okay. So right now, I just have like dumbbells. <clears throat> I mean, truly, the only thing you actually need to lose weight is fucking cardio. Nobody actually wants to tell you that, but... Dude, it's because nobody likes cardio. Nobody likes cardio because cardio Literally, sucks, I, yes. Cardio is the worst fucking thing ever. I, I... Yes, cardio is the worst thing ever. Do you know what else is like... Anything, guess what? Anything that sucks, usually probably the best thing for you. Yeah, that's why I... <laughs> <laughs> eating that salad also fucking that sucks. I like eating salad. Fuck you. Salad sucks. You eat it for the it's dressing. Awesome. No, I, I don't. I actually don't like dressing on my salad. You eat dressingless salad. Yes. We're ending the podcast it's here. It's I'm, we're never going to do another episode. He's a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> you are fat and you need to change <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't aware I was I was talking to a baby that can't eat fucking regular people food and needs to drown their 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 salad in dressing yeah. all the fucking time. Mm -hmm. You little you little shit. <laughs> Bro, why would I eat leaves? Because they're yummy, and they crunch, and the crunch feels good. Yeah, you know what else crunches? Breaded chicken from Panda Express. That's crazy, bro. Eat a salad. <laughs> Eat a sa I weigh less Eat than you salad. do, you fuck. <laughs> I'm taller than you, dickhead. By one inch? <laughs> yeah. I have a one what inch longer it? dick. <laughs> That's crazy, bro. I'm Asian. That was, a, that was a fucked up fight you started from the beginning. That's fucked. No, this no. This is racist. Oh, oh really? Talking this about dick size is racist? Yeah, because you're talking about it with an Asian. Imagine. Yeah, I'm reporting you to the... Uh, Dude, you know what else we should talk about? My math grades. Flying colors, A's, across the board. My math grades weren't that good. <laughs> <laughs> so if anything, I'm better in all of the Asian stereotypes than you are. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even Asian. <laughs> You don't have Asian stereotypes. You see, it's because of your white privilege. My white <laughs> privilege, yes. Hold on, let me pull out my privilege card. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, I got one too. Hold on. Mm -hmm, I mm -hmm. for real need a yellow, like a just <clears throat> just a laminated thing that says yellow privilege on it. Bro, they, they sell Asian privilege cards people. online. They do that. Do they have Asian ones? They have them all. That'd be so fire. They have the N-word pass too. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. There's literally a guy who he was like, <clears throat> he was just a regular dude. And then he started selling like white privilege cards and the N word pass. And it's literally just like a card, like a credit card. 
And he just says like the N word pass. And he became an like overnight millionaire. It should have been me. <laughs> oh god. Oh my god, dude. <clears throat> I mean he's black though. You can't sell the N word pass if you're not black. I'm a, I'm a minority. I could sell mm -mm. other other things. Mm -mm. I'm two mm -mm. minorities. I'm two minorities. You, you know cannot sell the N-word pass. You are not black. I can't sell the N-word pass, but I can sell other But that's stuff. what went viral. <laughs> I get, I, you know, you're right. Beaner pass doesn't hit as hard. Yeah, nobody gives a fuck about that. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there's not billions of white people on this planet that want to say the word beaner. Like, we'll just say it. Nobody cares. <laughs> I guess you're right. <laughs> oh. oh, my God, dude. <clears throat> fucking oh, man, a. I'm such like a bad Asian. No fucking lie. My my grades in school were not good. <laughs> Dude, I graduated high school with a 1.6. I grad I barely graduated with a 2.0. That shit was nuts. How did you graduate with a 1.6? <laughs> 2.0 was like the minimum. How yeah, did you I know. With a I graduated <laughs> high school. That's how little I gave a fuck. You know what's even more funny is I went to college. I'm a 4.0 student in college. That shit's crazy. And then you dropped out. Well, I mean, so I did, I did, um, I had two semesters that I got for free using the Pell Grant. So I just took two semesters and then got paid to do it. They actually, they actually pay you from the grant to like go to class. All of a sudden going to class gives you motivation when you're making money doing it. Yeah. 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 I could see that. I could see that. Oh, you have really good grades. Here's more money. <laughs> well, okay, now you're motivated to write those couple papers a little bit better. My motivation to get good grades is um, if you don't get good grades, you have to pay money. <laughs> oh, so that's what I did is I just took two semesters because two semesters were free. And then after I took those two semesters, I was like, because I, was, I wasn't doing any like specialized stuff. I was just doing like general ed. Hmm. I was like, I don't really have a reason to be here. <laughs> That's fair. Like I, I, I took the year for free, and I didn't have a reason to continue because there was no job that I wanted that came from college. Yeah, that's fair. And I was just like, "There's no reason for me to start paying now." <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> and I was getting paid to do it. Ten out of ten. While I was, while a degree is fairly valuable in some aspects of Bro, the world no, it's if not you're dude going somewhere it's not where you don't need it it is it's not though it's not required to make a living not only is it not required not only is it not required <laughs> you know how many jobs but there are now dude college no 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 run it back run it back is just a minimum required do you know the average college debt is like a hundred and forty thousand dollars oh i'm fully aware that the college system in itself is fucked up and corrupted dude I'm you will not that. you will go to college and spend hundred and forty thousand dollars that's six houses in the south <laughs> in the south <laughs> i gotta specify that's half a house in california <laughs> yeah, right, yeah. but still half a house now. half a house you're gonna spend $140,000 on a piece of paper? I, under, I understand that, and I actually share the sentiment. I'm mm. not a fan of college either. What I'm saying is, there's a lot of jobs nowadays that not even your major or anything is important. Just the fact that you have a degree is what's important to them. Because for some reason, we've placed all this value on just having a degree. Yeah, that shit makes That's classism at its finest. <clears throat> so it's, it's fucked up that that's required, but it's how it is. You know, so but if you're going into a workforce or just striving to get a job that doesn't require it, don't go to college because, like Tyler just said, it's a really big waste of money. If yeah, you, yeah, if you don't need the degree, the only <laughs> way that I could justify going to college to get the degree is if the job that you're getting pays drastically above whatever else you would be doing like yeah if you're going to be like a nurse right obviously a nurse needs schooling mm -hmm. 
a lawyer obviously needs schooling a doctor obviously needs schooling an engineer obviously needs school like you need to learn those skills before you can actually apply them Mm -hmm. everything else dude fuck it dude you 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 don't need to you don't need to go to marketing school (laughs) (laughs) you don't do you know what you could totally learn on the job on the job training marketing learning on the job is genuinely really effective and it's also i I way way easier to learn (laughs) yeah because you only learn what you need to know right or what Uh what helps you and then as things come at you you learn them as they come progressively build on your skill set until you become a valuable and effective employee like i did at where i work without going to school I started at another company doing pools and spas. I know everything about pools and spas because I did that for an entire year, busting my ass, getting paid shit because this company sucked. Then I applied for another company that's a smaller company that treats their guys better. I showed up and was teaching their five-year guys how to do their job better. Based. Because my (laughs) skill set in water care because these guys only do spas. I did spas and pools in a much wider variety. So you have to know more faster. So I had to know way more. So I know way more than these guys do because these guys only work on a couple different brands of spas. Mm -hmm. I worked on every brand of spa, pool, you know what I mean? Spra, spra. But yeah, so that's it. Like, you can turn into like a motivational. (laughs) Holy fuck. You can do it. You can do it. You don't have to go to college. Oh, God. Do you have any dreams lately? Like, like aspirations or just dreams when I sleep? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before I I was talking about sleep dreams, but before we do sleep dreams, I want to know what you were victorious, what victories you've had Ah. in the last two weeks. (laughs) I'm gonna celebrate your victories. Okay, hold on. Let me let me check let me check when something happened so I can see if that counts. Because I don't remember when it happened. Yeah, sure, that's within the time frame. My cover released finally. Oh I I finally finished that. Okay. So you commented three laughing faces on it. <laughs> <laughs> that's because I was listening to it and I was like, oh, he's so gay for this. <laughs> <laughs> that song was so funny. <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I mean, don't get me wrong, though. It was good. But it was also Thank just hysterical because I know who you are. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no, that's, anybody that's else? Absolutely fair. That, yeah. Anybody else who was watching that would be like, damn, bro. He's good. And me, I'm just like, this fucking. Oh, God. <laughs> I have. Because I, I obviously I have different personalities for different situations I'm in, right? All right, there's, right. There's me online. Obviously, I'm more outgoing. I'm louder mm-hmm. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. In person, I'm a lot quieter. Right. When I sing, well, I'm just saying, if you heard me when I sing or when you know me in person and then heard my online personality, you'd go, yo, what the fuck happened here? <laughs> yeah, it's like no matter what situation he is, he's got to dial back the, the autism spectrum just a little bit or, you know, dial it up. <laughs> All right, well, I have, I have to go to the bathroom, so we're going to have to fucking edit this out, too. So I'll be right back. <laughs> yeah, I'll go, too. You know, it'll yeah, yeah, yeah. Short break, short break, short break, short break, short yeah. break. All right. And we're back from that short break. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. Fucking anyway, God. we're talking about dreams. <clears throat> Dream- ah, yes, dreams. Have you had any dreams lately? I have. I don't remember. I don't re- remember many of my dreams. I had a dream last night. What was it of? It was so weird. It was so weird. Okay. Get us with it. Dude, okay. dreams have no context. So this is so weird. For some reason, trains were like an overarching theme in this dream. Okay. I'm not sure. It's kind of like trolleys. All right. I don't even know. So basically, it was kind of like this. I was in like this weird, almost like amusement park where like all of the rides were like trains. <laughs> <laughs> Except the rides were like terrible. They were so bad. They were so bad. 
<laughs> like one of the rides was you got connected. You would just hold on to a rope. <laughs> Attached to what? the, you would just hold onto a rope attached to the back of this train, and you would just like fly behind it. Like, <laughs> is, is it, like it would just drag you. It would just going drag you. Speed, and you'd just be in the back, just fucking hauling life. ass. And then, like, I think <laughs> it's terrible, but it was it was so much fun. I had a blast. I had a blast. You know what this is, right? What? This is the start of your autism arc. Oh You're God! Into trains, dude. Oh, no, I'm, I'm not into trains it's, at all, though. It's already, it's already started. No, you know, it's, it's so weird because I haven't even, I don't even remember the last time I've seen a train. <laughs> Looks like you need to start looking for trains. Oh God! Like one train hunter that just goes around looking for different models. Oh yeah, and he's just like, oh my God, look, it's, and then he just like names the fucking oh, model of the yeah, train. The Charleston X Y two or something. Oh fuck, dude, kill me if that ever happens. Just You're put a bullet him. in You're my him. head if that happens. You're that guy. If that happens, I give you full permission to put a bullet in my head. You know, it'll be the greatest thing if that happens. Cause say, cause say like. People are trying to give you a gift. They don't need to think about it. Get them a fucking train. <laughs> no. You see, I've already done that in the more effective way. People want to give me a gift. What do they give me? Money. Money. <laughs> <laughs> Just give me a 20. We'll be set. Dude. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> no, this is, this is how we do it. Like, okay. I had a, I had a friend who just had their 21st birthday. Mm -hmm. I sent him 40 bucks. I was okay. like, go have some drinks. You know what I mean? Because this All is right. what it does. This is what it does. You do total girl brain math on this, okay? <laughs> I I'm getting the girl, girl, girl math ready. I sent, it, I sent it to up. a girl. I sent it to a girl. So this is what, this okay, is, what okay, it is. Okay. You do total girl brain math with girl gifts. Especially if you're like far apart. Like if it's an online friendship. Uh huh. You go, here's 40 bucks. Drinks are on me tonight. Boom. She thinks... Oh, drinks are on you tonight, Tyler. Drinks, at least $40 worth of drinks, because that's $40 that she wouldn't have had, right? Uh -huh. Then, my birthday rolls around. She sends me probably the equivalent. Okay. Or, you know, at least something similar. Right, right. And I think, oh, that's $40 that I wouldn't have had. <laughs> <laughs> when in reality, it's just the forty dollars that I gave you six She's months just ago. Paying you back. <laughs> <laughs> it's all a mind game, bro. It's all girl brain. It's all girl no, no, brain no, math. Because this is this is peak girl math. Because I mean, at the end of the day, you're net zero. You're, you're, you're Dude, that's why we gotta blow each other for a hundred grand. No, I'm not. Doing <laughs> that. Bro, I would be happy to be your first sexual experience. <laughs> Because <laughs> I can, because I can say, because I can say that I'm bi, <laughs> and girls will be like, "Oh, that's hot." But then girls will look at you and be like, "So have you ever had sex with a chick?" And you're like, "No, just one dude." And they're like, "Oh fuck, <laughs> he's gay." <laughs> Statistically, he has to be gay, even though he says he's like straight or bi. Fuck the man. <laughs> so basically, what you're trying to get out of this is you up and me down. Because because I'll be in a worse situation than before. Oh, you piece of shit. <laughs> Every time, dude. I, I'm trying to make you completely unfuckable. What? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody. Nobody make this fucking podcast. Because okay? <laughs> <laughs> you've already heard what he's got cooking, bro. Oh, <laughs> he yeah, is dude. My op. He is my I am, one dude. I'm sorry, op the fuck out of you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm the fuck out of you. This piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> dude, I am covered ops on you. <laughs> First paycheck after fucking. <laughs> after, after. If this. If this thing gets monetized, ever it's just a package at my door. AdamandEve.com. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get you the most like insane. Like I'm gonna make it like a spread. You know what I mean? Oh my god. You're gonna have everything, bro. Everything. 
female, male, fucking straps, fucking machines, bro. You're gonna have, you're not gonna be able to get rid of it because you're gonna look at it and you're gonna be like, this is like a thousand dollars worth of shit. <laughs> I'm gonna look at it and be like, how would I get rid of it? Like, <laughs> will see this. My parents will see this if I throw it in the trash. I gotta can. buy you something that's like just obnoxiously big enough to not fit in the garbage can to where you would <laughs> you would have to leave it next to the can or try to somehow fit it in my car so i could take it to the dump but then they would see me at the dump dropping oh bro imagine going to the dump <laughs> dropping just a fucking huge sex machine <laughs> Hey, I'd make some person's day, but I don't know if I'm ready to take the, the social heat from that. <laughs> oh, dude, that would make a good story. Ooh. Oh, this this motherfucker. He's trying to make my life the content. <laughs> yes. I see your game here. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess I know my future if this thing ever pops off. Dude, I want to get you. I want to get you one of the white girl signs. You know, like live, laugh, love. Except. Oh my god. I want to change it just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> what would Tyler's live, laugh, loves be? Live, laugh, come. Live, laugh, come. <laughs> <laughs> and then in small letters on your sheets because there's no one that'll fuck you. <laughs> Under that, in smaller letters, it's oh, probably dude. Tyler's fault, and you've seen him on sex toys you're receiving. It's such a it's multi layered so sign. have a Tyler shit shelf in my room just <laughs> oh, fuck. all the bullshit you send me on display <laughs> since, you, since you want this to happen so fucking bad. bro I'll get you so many <laughs> suction cup dildos you could cover a wall with them <laughs> <laughs> imagine walking into any room that has a suction cup <laughs> dildo wall oh my god <laughs> Any, any, that is so aggressive. That's so aggressive to walk into. Dude, I would run away so fast. Dude, that's what I gotta get you. I gotta get you just like a sick, dude, I'm gonna like work with your mom to get this in your room, like while you're like out doing something. And then, <laughs> fucking, it's gonna be so big that you're not gonna know how I got it in your room. <laughs> and you're also not gonna know how to get it out. <laughs> and all of the dildos are gonna be like screwed into a piece of plywood. <laughs> you piece of shit. <laughs> you can't just pop I them could, off. I could, I could envision this. <laughs> just just <laughs> walking into my room immediately, just what the fuck? You get smacked do, in I the face the, a little. <laughs> <laughs> I do the white dad thing too. Put my put my hip uh fists on my hips and shit. Just what the hell is this shit? <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Dude, the, I think the oh smell would be the worst. It would just smell like silicon in your room. <laughs> oh my god. Well, see, fortunately for me, I can't smell. So, Bro, but I mean, at least then you don't have to set it up anymore. You know, you can just like... <laughs> you can just pick. They'll all be different sizes. <laughs> this is the worst conversation I've had in a few weeks. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Oh, Man. fuck. No, no, no. Well, and that right... Wait, 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 wait. Shit. Wait, wait, wait. Let's wrap it all the way back to the beginning. And that right there is why you don't want to be friends with guys like guys are friends with guys. True. All right, everybody. We'll see you next week. <laughs> <laughs> that is a sick spot to end. We'll do that. Like and subscribe. I don't know where I am!